Hi, one and all, and welcome back to the channel. And here's the next video in the mission building scenario. I saw a post today on the forums. Um, someone wanted to respawn um, ground targets back in uh, that they were utilising for a range uh, without using scripting. So I thought I would run through that with you uh, here on the Normandy map. So where have I started? Basically, I've placed units. Um, here is the first set of 15 units, which is ground vehicles, BTR-80s, some tanks, uh, and some BMPs. So that's a group of 15. Then I've also placed a group of uh, four AAA units, and then placed an installation, if you like. Um, now what I can show you is this how to respawn these back in. So let's take it to that next step. Now this process is going to depend on how many times that you want to respawn these groups back in. And how you want to tell people that the targets are live again. But let's go through the first step. I want to select all the units and copy and paste them. As in the previous video that I showed you. I'm going to click on a unit here. I'm going to go and hold the left shift key down. And I'm going to double click on this one. And that selects that one. Double click on this one. And that selects them all. So we've got all those now. Let's press Control C and copy them all. It's also going to depend whether you want them to go back into exactly the same position as they are now. Or if you want to move them slightly. I'm going to paste them here to start off with. So I've put my mouse cursor on the screen where I'd like it to be pasted. So it's going to paste that whole selection straight in. So we'll go Control V. As you can see, it's pasted the whole lot in. Slightly offset because I moved my mouse cursor down here. It's entirely up to you whether you want to put them on top of each other or not. That's that's your choice. But I quite like that setup. Okay, the next step is to make the units that we've copied and pasted uh, late activations. So I'll select the AAA unit there and click on late activation. And close it down. Then I will click on one of the towers there and I'll make that late activation. And click that down. And then the pasted 15 units. I also want to make that late activation. And there we are, all late activations. So we're going to need a trigger to spawn those back in. As I mentioned previously, if you want to put them back in exactly the same position, click on the first unit, one of seven, and then move it just slightly offset to where you had the originals placed. And then you can paste them there if you want them back in exactly the same place. So let's go to the next step. And here we are back in the set rules for trigger screen again. And the first trigger that we're going to set up is going to be uh, the trigger that will turn on a flag. Basically it's a one-time event. I've called it respawn targets flag with no event. And then in the conditions, what I've said is that if the AAA units is dead and the ground targets and the installation, if all three groups are dead, then I want flag one activated. And you set it up like this, group dead, you drop down, you'll search for group dead, select that and then select the unit. As you can see here, this is where the naming convention comes into its own. I would called these units something, like AAA, ground targets, and installation. And when I created a copy of it, it went AAA 1, ground targets 1, and installation 1. So I can discern between all the different groups. So I want to create this flag when the original groups are dead, so I selected AAA. I just repeated that process. Basically what you can do to simplify it is you could clone the first line and then just select the different units. That's the easiest way to do it. Let me delete that. 
I then went to actions, went down to the flag on drop down, and selected flag one. So basically, what it's saying is as soon as all of those units are dead, flag one will be activated. Now, what I want to do is spawn in the second set of units that replace the first set. And I did this with this particular trigger. Again, it's a once only action. I called it respawn targets. I class it as a non event. And what I said was time since flag one is 15 seconds. So as soon as flag one has been activated, 15 seconds later, I wanted all of this to happen. And let's run through what I did. First of all, I want a message to uh, all. So I went into the drop down menu and selected message to all. I then typed in the message. Uh, let's call it fresh targets activated. And I said I want that on the screen for at least 20 seconds. I then chose a sound. Again, the choice is yours. Pick whichever sound you want. So I wanted to know GG. That's the best sound file. Uh, and I selected sound to all. And then I selected um, PG range control. It's a sound file that I had available to me. It's not, it's not specific to this particular mission, but it will do. The next item I added was I selected group activate. And then I went down to the group that I want to activate. So that unit's dead. I want to activate AAA01. So I selected that. And again, you could press clone and then just change the relevant groups. So I selected group targets 1 and installation 1. And that's basically it. So that's a one time spawn back in of live firing range targets. So basically what will happen is your team will fly in, take out all of these targets, and as soon as they're destroyed, 15 seconds later, a message will appear on screen saying that there are fresh targets at that particular range, there'll be a sound that plays, and these units here that I copied and pasted will be spawned in. So let me show you that working in mission. Right, here we are down on the range. Uh, I'm going to click resume. Obviously, I'm not going to fly in and try and take out multiple targets. It'll take forever to make that video. Um, so what I'll do is I'll blow the units up and then show you the um, late activations spawning in. So let's crack on with that. there we go all the late activations spawned in so there's your replacement range targets i hope that was useful and thanks for watching cheers now bye